right, so here we go. So you've told us a little bit about um, what the dead zone is. Can you tell us a little bit about what's causing the dead zone? Yeah, so the dead zone, uh, in very short, is caused by nitrogen and phosphorus pollution flowing down the Mississippi River. Uh, basically what you have is nitrogen and phosphorus pollution flowing from lots of different sources. Uh, the main source is uh, agricultural fields, but it also comes from sewage treatment plants, petrochemical facilities, uh, confined fe animal feeding operations, lawns, urban sources, so a lot of different areas, but pr the, the majority, especially when you're talking about nitrogen, comes from uh, uh, farmers' fields, mainly in the Midwest. And the primary culprit within that is uh, corn production. Corn takes a lot of uh, synthetic nitrogen fertilizer to grow the way that we grow it. And regretfully, the corn doesn't take up all that, that, um, that nitrogen, and it goes from being a fertilizer to pollution. It flows down into the local drainage, through ditches, into small creeks, into larger streams, and eventually into the Mississippi River, then down to the Gulf of Mexico. And whenever that fresh water hits the salt water, it causes a stratification, causes two different layers of the, the water to form. And on that top layer, you have massive algae blooms. And then that al algae eventually dies and produces waste, and that sinks down to the bottom layer. And that bottom layer, the bugs come in, eat up all those that dead algae, which also uses up oxygen. And because of that stratification, that uh, oxygen can't get back into that lower layer. So then you have this huge, and what we call dead zone. Just like if we didn't have oxygen on the land to breathe, you know, nothing could live. Well, sea life needs oxygen as well. And so this massive area that forms every summer in the Gulf um, is uh, this area where shrimp can't be swimming through, they can't migrate through it, and uh, different fish try and get away from it, swim away from it, so it uh, has uh, impacts to our shrimping industry. Uh, there's been science that shows that uh, this, these low oxygen areas can actually um, have impacts on um, sexual chromosomes of, uh, of the Atlantic croaker, and so it has a lot of deleterious effects um, to both the estuary and to the species that live out in the Gulf. 